Critter Junction has been scaling and their database model is reaching its limits. Let's look at how we helped Critter Junction better serve their users by doing a bit of re-architecting. Building a flexible, scalable database architecture for a large multiplayer gaming application is no easy task. The larger a platform is, and the more components that have to interact with each other, the more tech problems can arise. Some of the problems that Critter Junction had to face for their flagship multiplayer game included handling global consistency, importing data, batch processing for analytics, and event streaming. On top of that, this system had to handle access spikes. That after work rush of users logging on is no joke and downtime is not an option. Such a complex problem couldn't be solved with just one tool. And because Critter Junction had already broken their application into microservices, this allowed them to apply the appropriate tools to each component as needed. Yep, that means mixing and matching Google Cloud database options based on questions like, what latency is required? How much persistent data needs to be supported? Does it require offline reporting? Is the data structured or unstructured? Like we covered last episode, Critter Junction chose Firestore for their spin-off minigame, but it's also a natural fit for problems that need a scalable cloud database with real-time synchronization and offline support, like their flagship game. And with automatic scaling up to 1 million concurrent connections and 10,000 writes per second, Critter Junction doesn't have to lift a finger or be concerned with downtime, regardless of usage spikes. This means Critter Junction's architecture could use Firestore for the game's front-end services like player authorization and profiles to store billions of documents with hierarchical world state data. To take care of the game inventory and other game elements that need global consistency like purchase history, Critter Junction uses Spanner as their main game database. Since Spanner is a fully managed relational database that offers unlimited scalability, strong consistency, and five nines availability, Spanner provides a globally consistent database that can track up to petabytes of all these important details without being a choke point in their architecture. Spanner supports Critter Junction's usage spikes without planning or downtime, which is a relief for data admins and users alike. And as you can imagine, Critter Junction's game access some data sets more than others. Leaderboards and player profiles, to name a few. To prevent lag in the UI and maintain a quality user experience for this frequently used data, Critter Junction went with Memory Store, a fully managed service that uses Redis to store in-memory data, creating a regional in-memory cache that speeds up access to that frequently queried data and improves scale and performance as demand grows. With Memory Store for Redis, Critter Junction was able to start small and increase the size of their instances without downtime by monitoring usage traffic and simply using the GCP console to make adjustments. For Critter Junction's huge analytical workload and time series data, that's where Bigtable fits in. It flips scaling on its head and focuses on connection latency. While traditional NoSQL databases often restrict elastic scalability with high management overhead, Bigtable gave Critter Junction consistent sub 10 millisecond latency while scaling to match storage needs with no downtime during reconfiguration. And because Critter Junction's game events were logged into Bigtable, their support experts could troubleshoot problems directly. From there, Critter Junction needed a SQL-friendly solution to analyze player profile and backend data. So they used BigQuery, a highly scalable, serverless, multi-cloud data warehouse. BigQuery's scalability comes from the vast number of multi-tenant resources deployed under the hood, allowing them to instantly allocate large chunks for seconds at a time while only billing you for what you use to keep costs down. Critter Junction periodically updates BigQuery with front-end and back-end data, which is then run through data analytics pipelines to identify gameplay mechanics that need improvements. So there we have it. Critter Junction used Firestore as a document store for their front-end services and real-time game data, Spanner for real-time play data and purchases, and Memory Store to cache common fetches. 
then Bigtable ingests game event logs, while BigQuery helps their analytics team aggregate data from all those sources. Keep in mind, this is just one example of how to build a heterogeneous storage and analytics architecture that can span any industry. And while developing a database architecture that supports tens of thousands of concurrent players isn't easy, it is possible. So stay tuned to learn how Critter Junction continues to improve the design of their database architecture. For more on this example architecture, check out the description below and check out our other series on databases below. And remember, always be architecting.